How's it going, everyone? Get the sun out of the way, or try to. Um, I'm here at a cemetery, and you're gonna find out in a while why I'm wearing my Yankees hat. Uh, God, it's so cold, it's like 20 degrees. Uh, but anyway, after long searching, I found Tom Zachary. Let me show you. Here he is with his wife, Etta. Tom Zachary played Major League Baseball from 1918 to 1936. And before that, he played for Vic, uh, Guilford College, which is in Greensboro, of course. And uh, he played for the Philadelphia Athletics in 1918. Then he went on to play for the Washington Senators from 1919 to 1925. Then he played for the St. Louis Browns for one year, and then went back to the Senators for another year. He's actually infamous for throwing the pitch that Babe Ruth broke, uh, hit his 60th home run for, or on. Yeah, Babe Ruth hit his 60th home run against Tom Zachary. So, and still, even though it's kind of a bad thing to give up home runs. It's still kind of kind of neat that he's attached to such a great player as Babe Ruth. And I don't think that makes a pitcher a bad. I don't think that makes you a bad pitcher to uh, that Babe Ruth hit against you. I mean, he was one of the best. Let's not kid ourselves. And anyway, um. He was, he was pretty good, though. Then he went on to play with Babe Ruth, and he, um, they won the 1928 championship together with the Yankees. And uh, he actually, in Game 3 of that World Series, he, uh, he pitched, yeah, he pitched for the Game 3 against the St. Louis Cardinals. And they ended up winning that World Series. He's, he actually uh, won two World Series in his uh, lifetime. He won one in 1924 and then the, the other in 1928. So one with the Senators and one with the Yankees. Uh, he had 720 career strikeouts. Um, he had a 3.73 earned uh, run average. He still holds a record with the Yankees for going 12-0 in 1929, which is the most pitching wins without a loss for any pitcher. And then after his little stint with the Yankees, he went on to play with the Boston Braves, who's now in Atlanta, the Brooklyn Dodgers, who of course you know we know now as the Los Angeles Dodgers, and then he played his last season in 1936 with the Philadelphia Phillies. So, but he obviously was, was pretty good to play 18 seasons in the majors. Not many people get to do that. Not many players get that lucky. Of course, back then, players don't get near what... Uh, <laughs> he didn't get paid near what, he, what they get paid these days. You don't get $100 million for four seasons now like the stars today. But God, it's so cool to think he got to play with, well, really all the cool teams. A lot of the cool, t I mean, I mean the Yankees, the Boston Braves, uh, the Brooklyn Dodgers, the Phillies. I mean, what more could you ask for if you're into if you're a baseball player? And uh, but anyway, he died in, of course, in 1969. He lived a pretty good long life. Looks like his wife died well after him in 1990, it looks like. But yeah, it's harder to find people amongst, you know, when they're the flat, flat stones. It, it's, but this is, it is nice out here though. It's huge, as you can see. But. But anyway, I appreciate it. Appreciate you viewing. I hope you, if you enjoy baseball or baseball history, I'm sure you'll 
you'll like this. And once again, thank you, and I'll be back. This is the babe hitting the infamous homer on. And there's Zachary. While the crowd cheered and the Yankee players roared their greeting, the babe made his triumphant, almost regal tour of the paths. And when he embedded his spikes in